Hi, I'm Charles Martinet. Here we are at Fan Expo. Here are a few of my favorite things. Let's see here, let's start there. Guilty pleasure. Oh gosh, travel. Actually, no, it's just my pleasure is travel. That's what I love to do more than anything in the world. So that's, that's a, I don't know, that guilty pleasure. Lazy day activity. Oh, I love to just read and just relax by the pool and read a book or relax on the beach and just enjoy the clouds going by in the sky. That's one of my favorite things to do in Hawaii. Okay, here's one. Band or singer. Well, who else could it be but Neil Diamond? I mean, really. <laughs> Actually, I love the Beatles. That's about when I stopped listening to music. The Beatles, the Monkees, you know, the, it was just the most amazing period of music back then. Life lesson. Life lesson, that's a lovely question. That, that I could go on forever about. But the first thing is, be your own best friend. Love yourself, develop a relationship with yourself. Because when you are treating yourself the way that you treat your best friend, that's when I think you start moving forward into your life, into the adventure and the joy that then you can have a guilty pleasure. And there's, it's not guilt, it's, it's pleasure. And you do it because it brings you joy. And you build your own self-esteem so that you start to respect and care for yourself. Because when you're loving yourself, that's when you have the frequency that brings the great things to life life for you. So seeking happiness, exploring your own heart, oh, I just went bonk, but exploring your own heart, your own joy, your passions, what you love to do. When you're doing that with your life lesson, you know, when you're doing that with, with self-love, then you, you really have the ability to, to have happiness, you know, and you attract it to you. I think that's the way that the universe works is when you're loving out of a sense of true love, it just brings it to you. But when you're, when you're trying to perform it, or it's a guilty thing, an unnatural emotion, well, it, it's harder to come. So there it is. TV show. I haven't turned a TV set on in 30 years. Aside from that, I used to love Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> okay, uh-oh, this is, this is, pull the tape off. My favorite blank tape is, wait, there's another piece of tape. On screen hero, Tara Strong. She may not look like she's on screen, but she's right there. Pizza toppings, yippee! Pizza toppings, you know, I, I sometimes go for vegetarian pizza, vegetarian everything, and other times I go for complete meat, everything meat, I have to have it. Okay, here we go, ready? Roll of my career, woohoo! I'll let you guess that one. <laughs> on screen villain. Don't like villains. I like nice, happy, loving people. That's why I always create characters that if they're villains, they're silly. So my on screen, my favorite on screen villain would have to be Waluigi or Wario. Book. Oh, I love books about life and understanding humanity. I, you know, the, the, the Rise and Fall of the Third Reich by William Shirer is the book of the rise of fascism. And to me, it's so fascinating that people have this capacity for complete goodness and complete evil. And a whole population can be swayed by a con man. So it's something to be watch out for. I'm not finished. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm gonna do one more. I get the bonus one. Thing on my bucket list. I don't believe in bucket lists. I believe in passion and joy and having fun and doing what you love to do. Follow your heart, follow your joy, follow your passion. Do what you love to do and pack your own parachute. Make sure you have a way to softly land. <laughs> and thank you for playing my games.